Well, to be quite honest, I was a little surprised when I saw the new drought monitor, which came out today from uh, NOAA, and it does show that we don't have a whole lot of change in, when it comes to the drought. Given the fact that we have seen the last rainfall on October 1st, it does kind of surprise me that we haven't seen abnormally dry conditions expand just a little bit more, but most of the drought still continues across parts of West Virginia as we've not gotten a whole lot of rain. Looking at the rainfall for the month, you can see the most of us down about an inch to two and a half inches below average. Again, the last time we had measurable rain, uh, at least you know a decent amount of rain, was on the first of the month. That's when Rona picked up just shy of an inch. Lynchburg, almost a quarter, just a few one hundreds in Danville, and about a half an inch in Blacksburg. So we definitely could stand to use that rain. You know, we do trend a uh, drier as we head through the, the winter months too. It's just not a whole lot of water in the atmosphere. So at this point, we don't have a whole lot of rain to speak of. Nothing to help make up for that with these fall fronts that are coming through. Last night, the one that moved through, I went out after uh, my shift to go home. I saw a couple clouds in the sky. That's about the only thing that front brought a little bit cooler temperatures today. The next one, though, should bring a more substantial dip in those numbers. And you can see that a lot of the country above average when it comes to highs, 23 degrees above average right now in places like Kansas, Roanoke at about five degrees above average. So where is it cold? You got to go into Canada. That's where that jet stream has been, and it keeps a lot of that cold air up there. Look at towards Yellowknife at 27 degrees, Dawson at 14, and Whitehorse about 27 degrees. So some of that cold air is there. We just need a drop in the jet stream to bring some of that into the United States, and it does look like that's going to happen as we get into Sunday with this cold front and low pressure system that begin to move on in. So so again, giving you that first alert that Sunday is going to be the big change that will have us feeling a bit closer to what we should be feeling for late October. Now, as far as any showers right now, no rain in the forecast for us. Any of these fronts that move through, a lot of the rain just fizzles away, so we'll notice that one Saturday night into Sunday coming through. Uh, maybe some clouds, that's about it. And then when we wake up on Sunday into Monday, that's when the cooler air really begins to settle in with those highs for the second half of the weekend, only in the 60s, and that cooler weather will last into Monday and Tuesday as well. So tonight, when you wake up in the morning, expect to cool down into the upper 30s to low 40s. It's certainly going to feel a lot cooler than it has been over the past few days so you may need that light jacket by the afternoon though we'll get up to about 70 to 75 degrees from Roanoke to Lynchburg all the way to Danville through the New River Valley same thing in the Highlands running in those low 70s high school football games dry and mild we'll see those temperatures at kickoff into the upper 60s and then falling into the low 60s and 50s through the end of the game jumping ahead to next week Sunday Monday Tuesday some of the cooler days that we'll see maybe some frost potential early Monday morning and then look at what happens by Halloween on Thursday of next week, we're back up close to 80 degrees. Nothing spooky about that forecast other than the dry conditions.